That's the point of increase of GST. You got so many reserves should not have GST. As a whole, we are not we we are not benefit anything. Nine percent. That's what's been on everyone's lips these days. As the GST in Singapore has raised from 8% just last year, some establishments have taken this opportunity to raise their prices by almost 10% from first gen. With that said, we're asking Singaporeans how they are planning to cope with the rising costs and how they're saving their hard-earned money. Some people spend and they save whatever is left over, uh, but I think I save first. Uh, then I spend whatever is left. I bought my own, like plan my own insurance costs. I'm an agent. So yeah, I'll just uh, use like a budget planning app and then I'll just track in all how much uh, is my salary and also like my day-to-day -day expenses. And then we see uh, those unnecessary spending. Uh, so we'll try to reduce those uh, unnecessary spending. I think for normal people, won't, some of them will feel a bit of pinch, but not that much. Lah. Especially when you buy food, go to restaurants. Uh, other than that, it's just normal. Lah. It's very expensive for us. Our income is low and then we cannot afford to buy things. You know, very expensive, everything, the price to go up. But our salary is not increased. Are you aware of the, some of the government measures, like the assurance packages, the CDC vouchers? Do you feel like it has helped you cope with the high cost of living? To me, it's just an offset to help Singaporeans to you know, maintain lifestyle. Or maybe they can pamper themselves, but uh, not to overspend. Uh, I think my parents need it more because uh, they use it for groceries and all that. So it will help them, basically. I'm doing a grab, so I don't have to take out money from there times where if I'm hungry, I can, you know, use that CDC money to, you know, support myself to feed for my hunger. Yes, definitely will. Mm. Yeah, that's total $500. So, um, yeah, we will spend like grocery la, bit by bit. So, yeah, you help us reduce a lot. La. Just work harder for yourself. Get more money for yourself and uh, I don't think you have anything to complain about the government, honestly. I think there could have been like more financial literacy courses. Like in terms of allowing people to like understand like their finance as well as like how they are able to like um, cut like their expenses as well as like their budget. So far, the government has done enough, I would say, because at the end of the day, it's up to an individual to go and decide what they want to do with their own finances. Lucky or not, this upward trend in the cost of living will continue to go up in the coming years. With Budget 2024 happening in the next few weeks, one will be eager as to what the government will implement to help its citizens cope with living in the world's most expensive city.